GMOC approaching on the 2nd of December. Here are tips and revision guidance from the Food Department. In terms of what to expect from the exam, your mock will be 90 minutes long and a reminder that a GCSE PE exam starts with a video stimulus. So expect the first few questions to be based on watching the video. Um, you don't need to sit and watch it multiple times. Hopefully within um, a few seconds of watching the video, you'll be able to answer the first few questions. There will be a range of questions throughout the exam, ranging from one mark to six mark. And within those questions, you may be asked to analyze perhaps a graph or perhaps a picture, which might be uh, a movement analysis question. And there will also be extended answer questions, which are six marks. Your tips and advice for your winter exams are as follows. In terms of how to prepare, you've got your three booklets, so the three areas of study that we've covered through year 10 and year 11. So these should form the basis of your revision. You can also find the lessons that we've covered on Google Classroom. So if there's anything you need to double check, um, it's well worth having a look there. In terms of exam practice, use the WJC website where you can look at past papers and mark schemes. And it's always good just to familiarise yourself with the style of questions and what the paper will look like. If you're looking for additional questions, then I'd recommend looking at the Educast website, which is the English equivalent. So again, the styles of questions are going to be written in a very similar way. And if you're looking for more digital support, then the BBC Bite Size website has uh, revision tools, um, example questions and other little tasks for you to get on with. In terms of your exam itself, um, always look at the command word of the questions. So whether you're asked to state something or to discuss something will affect how you go about answering that question. Also consider sort of PE specific terminology. So whether it's a health question or performance question and how that will affect the way in which you will answer a question. When you face a longer answer question, make sure you use the peel structure. So make your point, explain it in detail, use examples where appropriate, and then try and link to your next point. With those longer answer questions as well, always take a moment to plan your answer and just jot down your ideas um, before you dive into the question. And finally, when it comes to applying your knowledge, so sporting uh, examples, always make them specific. So avoid just naming sports like rugby and give examples. So for example, um, a sidestep in rugby to beat a defender. Just make a note as well of uh, the teacher's email addresses so that if you're at home or it's over a weekend just before the exam and you need something, you just need a last minute check, then you can drop us an email and we'll be sure to get back in touch with you. Or alternatively, come and find us and we're more than happy to support you in the lead up to these exams. Good luck.